Hey guys, good morning. This is the next day morning. We are just chilling, enjoying the breathtaking view of uh, Glen of Aherlo Mountains. Let me change, turn the camera and show you around. Look at that view there. Isn't that unbelievable? This campsite is very quiet. It's just 15th of May today. Hence, there is not many campers over here. Not many people who are camping. It's just us. So we have the feeling of having the campsite to ourselves. It was so quiet last night as well. And I think there is a, a river or something flowing that way. So whole night we could hear the uh, water flowing by, which is very, very soothing. My bike is right there. It's well rested as well for the adventure today. And our home is still intact, even after all that wind last night. It held up pretty well. This uh, tent, I was just telling Jennifer in the morning today, the tent what we have, uh, the Van Gogh Pulsar 300. We have it for approximately around four years and we have taken it to camping everywhere, including the trip which we did in UK. And the tent has performed brilliantly, uh, even in the worst of the storms. So yeah, so we are going to fly the drone now so that we can make a nice drone footage. I'll put up the drone footage now in a minute, uh, waiting for that cloud to clear up there. There is a huge cloud on top. So we'll get a bit of sunshine and then uh, I'll fly the drone up. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to pack up from here and uh, head away to the V. So the day is getting better and better. It's getting sunnier and we are getting roasted over here. I did the drone shots already and I'll show you the property over here, what is there and what is not there. So. We camped on the corner over here. Oh, that's my drone. Um, I, I, it needs some vitamin D, so I left it there. It was in hibernation so far. So, yeah, so we camped over here in this corner. There are pictures all along over here. And behind that fence as well there, there are a few pictures for the camper vans as well as for the tents. And uh, in case if you're wondering, this is the toilet facility over here. They have the kitchen and everything. I must say the toilets are super clean all the time. Whenever I've come over here, every time I've been here, the toilets were immaculate condition. And uh, the reception is right there, that small little building which you can see in the background. Mm -hmm. Am I pointing in the right direction? Maybe yes. No, this one over here. That's the reception. So that's the main road on the other side. And uh, yeah, so that's about the property there. It's nice, it's peaceful. Look at that. Can you get a better view? You can't. And there is a pitch right behind the toilets on the left hand side on the hill. Every time we were camping over there, but there was a camper van parked right next to it. That's the reason we decided we'll move over here because uh, the view is still good but there is nobody around us over here. So that's that. So we have left the campsite folks and uh, looks like this GPS is taking us through some <laughs> very good country roads, I must say. It's nice. Uh oh. We have an obstruction. But then he's going in. Yeah, good. Look at that. So, yeah, we had a good night's sleep. Well rested. Ready for the adventure. In case if you are not subscribed to this channel, I would highly recommend you to do so because we'll be doing a lot of content like this folks we are planning on going on a lot of adventures like this and a uh, lot of road trips this year so in case if you are uh, interested in enjoying the beauty of ireland please do not hesitate to subscribe it is free we wouldn't charge you anything for these lovely videos i'm taking it very easy because of the fact that we want to enjoy this journey we don't have to get to anywhere today, so we are off today, so we are exploring, 
right now we are going to the V, the V pass. I was just told by George, the owner of the campsite, that uh, the V is not in its full bloom as yet. However, we'll go there and make a video, fly the drone, and uh, we'll discover a little bit around that place as well. But if it is not in the f uh, full bloom, it's all right. What I will do is I'll come back some other day and uh, make a video. No hassle at all. However, this ride is all about enjoying the journey and getting out of home. Okay, clear. I'm trying the new mic setup right now. I was trying the Tascam, I was using the Tascam DR05X so far and uh, that's too much of a mess to like you know install and uninstall every time you switch on two things and all that so I decided uh, I'll use this Hama microphone a cheap microphone from Amazon and uh, see how, uh, how the audio goes if the audio is not great please forgive me I will improve the next time right time we meet another farmer now we can enjoy the view of the beautiful tractor in front of us. Awesome. Oh, he's going in. He's going out. There was some interchange right there. I hope he lets us go in the front. Alrighty. Time to overtake this guy. Thank you, sir. I must tell you something, the owners of that campsite, George and uh, his wife, I don't know what's her name, they both are so nice, they both are so hardworking, they maintain the campsite themselves, it looks like they don't have any employees working for them, however the way they maintain it is absolutely unbelievable. We have been to several campsites over here in Ireland and in the UK, I think so far by all means, I think this is the best maintained campsite ever we have been to. Uh, I don't know if Jennifer agrees. Do you agree, Jennifer? Yeah, she says that she does agree to it. Because, and the view from there is as well. It's spectacular. Wow, look at that. What a house, newly built. Yeah, so it's a pleasure and joy to come and camp at the, in that campsite. What we are planning to do now next is, we are going to come here, camp in here, and then we are going to do the uh, the trek of uh, Glen of Aherlo Mountains, the Galti Mountains, basically. It's an amazing trek. Uh, very soon, I will be making the video. I'm not sure if we are going to do on the do it on the motorcycle or the car, but however, I will make a video and I'll post it up on uh, this channel. It's a nice and warm day. What's the temperature outside? Let's check. 16 degrees it says. I'm roasting in this uh, jacket of mine. I still have the thermal layer inside. I think it's high time that I get rid of it. The kids saying bye. I love that. Everybody's waving at you on your motorcycle. It's class. Another thing is about the Super Ten area, guys. You know, the more I ride it, the more I fall in love with it. This machine is something else. It's class. I don't know why I did not buy it before I bought the Tiger 800. Not sure. Maybe the weight was scaring me. But nevertheless, no regrets. I bought it now and it's not too late. So we are going to explore more and more with this bike because we both love it. Jennifer likes the comfort of this as well. That's more important. As I always say, keep your boss happy and you'll be happy. We still have 33 minutes to go. So I might stop this over here and uh, see you when we get closer to the location. Looks like the V-Pass is not yet started blooming. However, we'll go around. We have to come back in another two weeks to experience the 
Yeah. I did we come from the other side around. So we have approached from a different direction altogether this time. Nevertheless, it was a good experience. We got to see some other parts of the country. Okay, nobody there? Ideally, this all place is purple when we come in. Let's leave it to another video so we'll come back and do it again. So today is only the 15th of May, so it looks like the flowers have just started coming out. Blooming, I must say, not coming out. It's not a baby to come out. However, we'll reach on top and uh, we'll enjoy the view anyways, because it's worth the ride all the way till the top. There is a viewpoint over here on my left hand side, but I don't think we should stop here. We are going to go f further out on, up on top and park on the other side. Hopefully I'll be able to park the bike there. That's the thing you see. Because... Of the... Oh yeah, I can, I can. <clears throat> Look at that people. That is some view, isn't it? Holy cow. Gorgeous. Tenere, I love you. You are performing. You are exceeding my expectation. Alright, let me take out the helmet. And uh, maybe put up the drone and make a few videos. What do you think? So folks, look at that view. And this bike with that view is awesome. Yeah, it's been half an hour that we are here. Had a drink and uh, just chilling out over here. Taking in all this beauty. And we flew the drone as well. I believe you enjoyed the drone shots. Look, have you seen her this happy? She's been very happy. Since the time she got back onto the motorbike, I've been telling her that. Get onto the motorbike and you'll be happy. Look at that smile. Hmm, she's shy now. So, we just left from that point. There is a viewpoint here as well, 100 meters ahead. So, we'll just go and give a quick glance of how it looks. And then uh, we are heading back to Cork. These flowers look so beautiful so beautiful i made some uh, nice instagram reels right there in case if you don't follow me on instagram i will uh, highly recommend to do so uh, my instagram is rides with richie on one word no spaces so oh there is a couple of sheep over here they get spooked sometimes by motorcycles oh but okay good sheep That was not 100 meters, was it? That was definitely more than that. There we go. Wow. That's the lake right there, folks. I don't know if I can put up the drone once again. I don't have enough battery left. So, if you're coming to 
the V, you can park the car there and then you can walk down. Let's go a bit closer to the spot and I'll show you then. So yeah, you can park the car there and then you can walk all the way till that lake. It's a very pretty lake uh, in the foothills of this nice mountain over here. Nice one. The views are spectacular. Last time what we did was we parked the car there and then we walked up through the forest. It was nice as well. This is cool. But today we are not going to do it. We are going to head back to Cork. So yeah, we are leaving back now. Enjoying this beautiful scenery right here. Awesome. So the owner of the campsite was right. The flowers are not in the full bloom as yet. So we will be back in two weeks to make a proper vlog video about this place once again. Isn't it Jennifer? We'll come by bike, make the video and then we'll go back home. We can get all our uh, gadgets well charged as well so that we don't run out of battery at any stage. Look at these trees. So pretty. So beautiful. This is an awesome ride. Very, very good ride. In case if you are around Cork or in Cork on your motorcycle adventure, I would highly recommend you this. You do this ride over here. The roads are nice, not bad, but then you should watch out for the chips with which you might slip. So yeah, so that's the V-gap folks, right here. Right now there are only yellow flowers. In a few days, all this place will be covered with uh, purple flowers. So make sure that you subscribe so that whenever I post the video, you get notified. So that you get notified, you have to click the bell icon as well. So that you get notified when I make new videos like this. However, let's hit the road now and uh, we are going to grab something to eat. Hopefully we'll get a cafe or something so that we can get a bite to it. We both are hungry. And uh, right now we are wearing the earplugs. I've made a video about it. I think they are called Alpine Moto Safe, I believe. Yeah, with which you get two sets. So it's very handy. Jennifer is wearing one set and uh, I'm wearing one set as well. As you can see, it definitely helps you reduce the fatigue and uh, it saves your ears for a long period of time. In case if you want to watch the full review of that, I will uh, add the card over here on the screen and I'll add the link in the description below as well so that you can go ahead and watch that video. I would highly recommend them. Comfort is the main part. You shouldn't feel like you're wearing any earplugs. And with these earplugs, we have been wearing them since yesterday, all day yesterday and all, almost all day today. But we don't feel like we are wearing them. And uh, we, have, we are wearing the headsets in the helmet so that we can communicate with each other. Oh, no problem at all. We can hear each other very clearly, which is a great thing. It filters all that unnecessary low vibration sounds, you know, from the motorcycle, which is great. So folks, we just had our lunch and uh, now we are heading out from Mitchell's town. Beautiful little town. Oh, look at these trees. Just gorgeous. Yeah, so we are hitting the main road now in a minute. Oh, it looks like there is a nice cathedral in front of us. Let's see what it is. After I added the bar risers, as you can see, the bar is not straight. It keeps moving left, right and center for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I think the suspension or the rubberized, whatever call it, dampeners are moving around or something like that. I need to address that issue once we are back in Cork. We are not going through the motorway this time. We thought we'll take the back roads. So we are heading, I think, towards Mallow now and then uh, that way we'll go back to Cork. It's half past five or 5.30 in uh, Ireland right now. It might take us approximately an hour to reach home. And then uh, it's time to unwind, relax, 
get ready for work tomorrow. Jennifer is working in the morning and I'm working in the afternoon. Next week there is uh, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride that's on the 21st. I will be going to the DGR Cork for the first time. In case if you are interested in watching that video I will be making a vlog there as well. It will be um, nice to meet uh, all the gentlemen of Cork. I don't have a classic motorcycle however I have this one so I'll be bringing this to the DGR. Nevertheless, I can make a vlog and uh, meet some people and uh, make some videos. Pretty excited to do that as well. And one more very good improvement which will be happening is we are going to get a garage installed for my motorcycles and uh, we are going to get a insulated garage, fully insulated garage so that I can make my garage as my studio as well so that I can make more videos indoors done with those days where I had to freeze and make videos for you guys outside from now on I'll be moving into the garage and making videos it might take approximately six weeks for the garage to be made and once that is done yes happy days in the garage I will be making videos about that as well of how the things are going on so that I bring you all the updates this summer my target is making as many e videos as possible so that I can bring you some nice content. Wow, it's pretty windy this side. I hope uh, my camera is capturing this and my microphone is not peeking out. I hope not at least. So with that note folks, I will let you go now. Signing off from this ride. That's it for now. My blabbering and my rant is finished. Thank you very much for sticking around and staying tuned. And uh, thank you for all your love and support. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe on the road. Ciao.